Welcome to the EasyGrip Maintenance Video Guide. This brief step-by-step -step guide will show you how to easily replace parts of your EasyGrip pipetta. The EasyGrip Spares Kit will allow you to keep your EasyGrip pipetta in good working order, replacing all key parts in just a few minutes. The EasyGrip pipetta and replacement spares kit are made up of different components. We will now show you how to replace the O-ring seals. If you experience poor control of the sample, if the easy tips do not fit, or if the plunger does not depress, you may need to replace the O-ring. First, unscrew the collet. Remove the seals. It is not uncommon for some or all of the seals to get lodged within the collet. They may be removed by inserting the plunger wire into the front end of the collet and pushing them out as shown. Dispose of the old seals. Take the new seals from the replacement kit and fit them over the plunger wire in the following order. First, take the white rubber seal with the smaller hole. Poke the plunger wire through the seal to fit. Second, take the middle plastic seal with two notches and place it on the plunger wire with the two notches facing away from the body of the easy grip. Third, take the translucent seal with the largest hole and place it onto the plunger wire. Fitting the seals in any other quantity, order or orientation than that described will result in the easy grip not functioning. Screw the collet into place. Next, we will show you how to replace the plunger wire. If plunger wire is damaged, then the plunger wire may need replacing. If the plunger wire is loose, the plunger wire needs to be secured. First, unscrew the collet and remove all the three seals. Hold the wider end of the easy grip body and turn it anti-clockwise until it is free. Turn the thumb rest anti-clockwise to unscrew the mechanism from the easy grip body. Remove the spring. Use the hexagon Allen key supplied in the kit to gently loosen the two grub screws until the plunger wire becomes free. Discard the plunger wire. Take the new plunger wire and locate it in the small hole in the mechanism. Gently push it in, ensuring that at least 60 millimeters remains exposed. Tighten the two grub screws firmly with the hexagon Allen key to secure the new plunger wire. Add the spring to its original position. Next, carefully thread the brown sliding nut back into the main body of the easy grip by turning the thumb rest clockwise. Turn the thumb rest clockwise until at least 15 millimeters of the plunger wire is left exposed, ensuring proper alignment. Thread the wider end of the easy grip body clockwise back into place. Turn the thumb rest anti-clockwise until it stops to return the aspirate volume setting to its maximum 3 microliters. To order your easy grip spares kit, contact your Cooper Surgical representative.